Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alan and today I'm going to be talking about website performance and what you can do to help increase the performance of your website. Okay guys, so in our live example here, we have an absolutely blank canvas. However, there are three tricks that we can do within our editor that will really help us enhance our performance of our live website. So let's get right into it. Number one is that we want to use the site option at the very top. Within the menu, you'll have site tools help and upgrade. Let's hover over site. Once you hover over site, you'll have a huge array of options from save, preview, get feedback, publish. But what we want to do is we want to go ahead and scroll down to image sharpening. Well, once we click on image sharpening, we are then introduced to the image sharpening option. By default, it's selected to classic. If you're a photographer, you might want to select max AA to get the maximum amount of quality for your images. However, this comes at a cost, and the cost is performance. So if we want to focus on specifically uh, having our website perform the absolute fastest it can, we want to select none. This option will disable the image sharpening that's applied to our live website. Once we press the uh, apply at the very bottom, we've now taken one step to at least enhance the performance of our website. So how can we uh, go ahead and take it a step further and increase our performance some more? Well, something that uh, delays performance is called transitions. Every time a user transitions from homepage to about us, to services, to products, to contact us, etc., uh, there's something that happens in between the pages and that's called transitioning. So if we click on the pages on the top left hand corner, you're introduced to your pages. At the very bottom, you'll notice that it says page transitions. Out and in is automatically selected by default. Other options are horizontal, vertical, and crossfade. For the sake of performance, and for the sake of giving the user the best possible experience, we want to go ahead and select none. This will disable the transitions, but it will at least allow our users to go through the transitions of home, about us, services, products, like I said, at a much faster rate and, and overall will give a better experience as it seems to be less laggy. So let's go ahead and select none. At this point, you can press apply. You can name your project because this is a blank canvas. And uh, now that it's published, you can get, go ahead and work within your canvas at a much faster rate. But what if we wanted to take it a step further? I know that a lot of users have a website that's full of content and when the user decides to go to their website, it could take up to seven seconds to load. So how can we get the website to load under five seconds? Well, there's a trick. And what I usually like to do is create a landing page, a page prior to actually landing on the page that has all the content. So let's go ahead and do that. What we want to do is select pages at the top left hand corner one more time and we want to go ahead and say add a new page. Once the drop down menu appears, we want to go ahead and select a page and add a new page. We'll call this page website intro. We're going to press done. Once we select website intro and once we've created it, we want to click on the three little arrows. We want to click on page information and we want to select this to be our home page. Now that this is our home page, we want to go ahead and select page layouts and we have two options. We have the standard that shows the header and the footer. Now if the header has a lot of menu, it has a logo, if it has uh, transitioning animation all applied to it, it will lag the website. So we want to go ahead and select no footer and no header. Once we do that, our footer and header is totally removed. Now let's create an immersive landing page. We want to go ahead and click the top left hand corner and add the add button. We want to go ahead, uh, sorry, not the ad. We want to actually go into uh, backgrounds. So it's the very first one, or you could actually right click your canvas and click change background settings. Once we do that, we should all be familiar with this. Uh, what we want to do is go ahead and go free from Wix and select a background, a wallpaper that's going to reflect our website uh, in somewhat shape or form. So I'm going to go ahead and select just a random image. And uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and right click this and change page design. And I want to say uh, no color. So what this will do is it will allow us to see the full image. We want to press apply. Uh, I'm going to quickly test how long it's going to take to load this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It took six seconds. To be honest with you, my internet's pretty slow so it could have actually took a lot less. So what we want to do here to create that, uh, to have the user eventually land on our main pr uh, primary page is we want to add two buttons. Generally you'll click the add button on the left hand corner, you'll click on buttons and you'll want to add two buttons. One button that will say uh, enter website, another that will probably say uh, products or contact us or even oops wrong place and redirect them to Google. But creating a landing page 
Creating, uh, allowing transitions to be disabled and removing the image sharpening should ultimately give you a better performance on your website as a whole. So I hope these three uh, tips have helped you out. I know that uh, uh, a lot of you guys have been complaining about the performance. So this might not be 100% a, a problem solver, but this will at least help you trim off one or two seconds off the overall experience of your website. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment box below.